Hey, what's up? It's Ryan, and uh, today uh, we're going to be talking about a new camera that I actually got before the pandemic started, but didn't really have a chance to go out with it. So I finally took it out, took some photos at Long Beach. I go, I go to beaches a lot. I go, I go to a lot of beaches. But yeah, I went to Long Beach, and uh, when I took photos with my Mamiya before I sold it and got my Pentax, took some photos with this new camera. We're not gonna be talking about the Pentax just yet. Well, you'll, it'll be out soon. Today, we're actually gonna be talking about a 35 millimeter SLR comparable to like a DSLR. Today, we're gonna be talking about the Canon EOS 5. So the Canon EOS 5 is actually a 35 millimeter SLR camera, but it looks just like what you would imagine and see a traditional nowadays DSLR or even mirrorless kind of camera. It's got that traditional Canon kind of body. It has EF mounted lenses. So for this camera, I actually have a 50 millimeter lens, a 35 millimeter lens, and a 28 to 80 variable lens. And this takes regular 35 millimeter film, um, and it's a really fantastic camera because the great thing about this type of camera is it has autofocus in it. So, you know, with traditional SLR, like 35 millimeter cameras, like my Canon AE-1, you have to manually focus on what you want to shoot. With this, there's actually line of sight dots in there that actually help you focus and focus for you, just like a traditional kind of DSLR camera that we're more used to nowadays. It came out in the early 90s and was replaced in the later 90s. It was replaced by the Canon EOS 3, which is a little weird because it's the Canon EOS 5, but it actually goes better known as the 2A. It's a, it's a whole weird thing, name thing, kind of like iPhone 11S. But anyway, it takes interchangeable batteries, not rechargeable batteries like the ones that come in the Canon cameras nowadays. Uh, it takes two batteries, you just have to swap them out when they're dead. Uh, it has a shutter dial like you would find in a traditional DSLR camera. And also on the back, it has an aperture dial for you to change apertures. Inside is a very advanced light meter. It's digital, it's really good, it's really responsive, and it shows you changing when you change your aperture and your shutter speed. It shows you how it's adapting. It's a really fantastic camera, and it's kind of like almost like an upgrade from a Canon AE-1 in all forms. The lens uses phase detection. That's how it figures out, you know, the autofocus, the focusing and all that kind of stuff. So I took this camera to the beach at Long Beach and just kind of walked around the border. When I was done shooting with my Mamiya, uh, I actually just popped this out and took a bunch of different photos around. So I walked up and down the boardwalk and took a bunch of photos there. And then I came down off the boardwalk to this little like eating area and there were a couple of things that I wanted to take a photo of like, uh, you know, a couple of picnic tables, uh, some really cool looking like garbage cans and a long beach post. And then as I got closer to my car, I, I shot the a couple of photos just around that area. I got this really cool photo of like sneakers hanging from power lines like you see in, you know, in Brooklyn and in the movies and stuff like that. But this, this camera is really great. I mean, it, 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 the great thing about it is it makes, it feels like a DSLR. It's something I'm used to, it's something I know. And uh, it, it's got the autofocus for me. It does a lot for you. You just have to, you know, change the settings. It's got a bunch of different modes. I usually always shoot manual uh, because I like to be in control of the shutter, the ISO, and the aperture. So it's very similar to the, you know, DSLRs and mirrorless cameras I like. And that's the reason that I'm not going to keep it. So don't get me wrong, I, this camera's great. The photos came out great. The lenses I have, the EF lenses, there's a whole family of EF lenses, L-series, incredible glass lenses. But the reason I'm not going to be keeping it has nothing to do with the camera itself. It has to do with the experience. And that's why I love this thing. This is why I love this thing, my Canon AE-1. 
It's all about the experience. I got into film photography because digital had become old and stale to me. I had been doing it professionally for about two to three years. And I just kind of got bored with it. And then I started messing around with film and it just woke me up and it just I had been I hadn't been excited about photography in so long until I picked up my my Canon AE1, the first one I ever picked up, and just shot a roll with it. Didn't look good. Here's a couple of the photos I took from my first one, my first roll in Coney Island. They didn't look great, but you know what? The experience of, of taking the photos with this vintage camera, sending them to a dark room, getting them back a week later, not knowing how they turned out, and learning from my mistakes, was just so incredible and magical to me. And yes, that's what you do with the EOS 5, but with that, it's it's it just feels too like a DSLR. Everything is done for you almost. And and the, the auto focusing, I, I know I can manually focus on that, but I just there's just something about this, whether it's the metal or it's the advance or whatnot, it's just something about this is more important to me. That's why I'm gonna be selling that camera and just sticking mainly with this and my Pentax 6.7. I got into film because I wanted to try something new and try something different from digital. Now, does that mean it's not a good camera? No, it's an incredible camera. And I highly suggest it to people that want a little bit more flair and everything, and it's great and it takes good photos high quality photos with the right lenses. It's easy to use if you already know how to use something like this. But like I said, for me, I, I got into film because I wanted something different. I wanted something new and challenging and, and, and mysterious from sending the film out. So uh, I know this was a really quick like overview of the camera. I really didn't get into the specs of it. Uh, I wanted to show the photos, but I also wanted to kind of really make this about like, film is great and stick with your with your Canon AE-1 or your Nikon F1 or whatever you have. Don't go backwards, keep what you got. I, I hope this video was, was good. I know it was kind of short and kind of all over the place, but like I really just wanted to get that point across that I wanted to keep trugging on with the Canon AE-1. I hope you enjoyed the photos. I hope you enjoyed this video. Happy Friday. Please, if you can subscribe, that would be the absolute world to me. I will see you on Tuesday. Have a good weekend. Later. To leave my holding anger